Presented by the Wisconsin Army National Guard. It's BadgerStateWrestling.com where it's nothing but wrestling. Something has got to give here at 285. Reed Anklum, an undefeated sophomore, 12-0. And, and Adam Shavlik, the number one seed, an undefeated senior, comes in at 15-0. And, and Anklum got that first takedown, but quickly Shavlik able to tie it up. And I'm impressed. 2-2 two, two at 285, just 16 seconds in. These two getting after it. That's what I like to see. In Division One at 285, Shavlik ranked eighth. Brady Stumpf of Kimberly ranked number one. And for Anklam, in Division Three, he is ranked second. Behind Cole Johnson, the junior from DeSoto. And these guys are practice partners at X Factor Elite, so these guys know each other well. Shavlik with a tight half. Potentially dangerous whistled. 107 here in this first period. Shavlik undefeated at the Seymour and Nina duels. Shavlik, a state qualifier a year ago as a junior with over 30 victories for the ships. Defensive end. Anklam this season was a champion at the Gun Slinger Invites and was third at the state tournament a year ago as a freshman. Over 40 W's for Coach Hatfield. Match brought to you by J.J. Keller, helping companies with safety and regulatory compliance since 1953. Transportation, workplace safety, human resources, construction safety, and hazardous materials. And big thanks to Mr. Jim Keller, my mentor, and his generous support of high school wrestling here on BadgerStateWrestling.com. Our partners mean so much to us, plain and simply, without guys like Mr. Jim Keller, there is no Badger State Wrestling. So, always appreciate it if you're able to thank one of our partners. It goes a long ways. And looking forward to following a Dallas Seavey's journey come March. He'll look to become the youngest musher ever to win the Iditarod. He's been knocking on the door the past couple of years. Dallas, Alaska State High School champion. He was a Greco National Champion stood atop the podium in Fargo and spent some time at the uh, Olympic Education Center in uh, Michigan. And unfortunately for Seve, he had some concussions, so he had to turn in the headgear. But an Iditarod musher, and he is tough. Looking forward to following Dallas Seve at the J.J. Keller Iditarod Racing Team. 2 2 is our score as we. Head of the second period. And will go neutral. Anklam scoring a takedown quickly in the first. We'll see how he plays it here in the second period. If he gets right back to his tie, gets position, and goes in for a shot, goes in for an attack. Anklam, good athlete. Football, track, baseball. Avid outdoorsman. And Anklam back out in front, four to two. And that was a good scramble. I didn't know how that one was going to fall when it was all said and done. Wish I could. Four to three, Anklam wants to stay on his feet as he gives Shavlik the escape. The top two seeds, Shavlik the one seed. Anklam the two, and these two have been on a collision course to meet in these finals. And Anklam scores again, and unfortunately for the Random Lake sophomore, out of bounds, six to three, and 
He is just going to keep giving Shavlik escapes. Six to four. Shavlik, a 27 second pin, followed by a 32 second pin. 12 1 major in the semis over Zach Franz of DeForest. For Anklam, a pin in a minute six. In the quarters, a pin in 350. And then Anklam with an 8 1 decision over Mike Moore of Oconomowoc to claim his spot in this 285 pound final. I'm really impressed with Anklam. I mean, especially as a sophomore and at this weight class, how good he is on his feet. Now he's got a headlock and he's able to get him over. Now he's going to settle in. He's got 30 seconds. Anklam looking for the stick in the title and he's got it. Reed Anklam, the Random Lake sophomore, improves to 13 and 0. Anklam was fourth here a year ago, and here in 2011, he's your Marty Lloyd Classic champion.